once upon a time for decades actually everything was just made in china but not anymore because today it's all shifting to made in india apple google and samsung are all moving the major parts of the production lines to india so it's not just a strategy but a crucial play of survival so let's break down why some of the world's biggest tech giants are suddenly racing to manufacture in india and why this moment matters more than ever so apple is leading the charge the company plans to assemble every iphone sold in the us which is over a 60 million units a year in india by 2026 look that's double the output it produces here today in this year alone apple assembled 22 billion dollars worth of iphones in the country a 60% surge year on year and most of this happens at giant campuses operated by foxconn and tata electronics and to beat new us tariff deadlines apple even chartered cargo flights shipping 1.5 million iphones from chennai to the us and guess what indian airports fast track the entire process with green corridors which meant cutting custom clearance times from 30 hours to 6 hours so this seems to be apple's new manufacturing muscle which is built in india so under donald trump's administration tariffs on china increased with some hitting as high as 145% and apple alone saw a 700 billion dollar wipeout in market value and even though some tariffs were temporarily paused the threat remains very much alive and no global giant wants to bet their future on political uncertainty and adding to that covid era factory shutdowns in china showed how fragile a single country supply chain can be so apple had no choice but to diversify and india was ready but china isn't making it easy either so chinese authorities have started delaying or blocking the export of vital manufacturing equipment that's headed to india and approval timelines that once took 2 weeks now stretch over 4 months and in some cases apple suppliers had to set up dummy companies in southeast asia just to move critical machinery out so this is beyond just a supply chain friction it's almost like a new form of soft economic warfare so apple knows it's racing against time but it's not just apple that's hedging its bets google is shifting more and more pixel smartphone production to india and is working closely with dixon technologies and foxconn besides samsung has announced a fresh 1000 crore rupees investment into its tamil nadu factory So the company is exploring moving production away from Vietnam to India which also means that it's hedging against future tariffs and electronics exports out of India surged to a 14.65 billion dollars this year with Tamil Nadu alone accounting for 41% of that but once again why India and why now look government introduced production linked incentive schemes the offer of cashbacks and incentives to manufacturers for scaling their outputs Besides this fast track clearances, logistical corridors, tax reliefs and breaks and many more such incentives. And there is also a massive push to build the semiconductor ecosystems and large scale electronic hubs in India. So Apple, Google and Samsung are moving to India because finally the country is offering scale, talent, policy stability and cost competitiveness all at once. And for the first time, global manufacturing giants see india as future proof today 80% of critical iphones components like chips displays batteries still come from china and experts estimate that even shifting 10% of apple's component supply chain could take 8 years so to truly become the world's factory india must own the supply chain from chips to screen to batteries and not just assembly otherwise dependence will only shift upstream but not disappear so apple samsung and google they're all assembling here yes but now it's up to india to think bigger to design to innovate and some day lead from the front so while the world is moving from made in china to made in india but the real revolution will begin when india moves from made in india to invented in india and that moment it's closer than you think Well there are various skeptics out there that doubt India's capabilities yes we need to wait and watch so that's it for today's front page for more such real time insights and in depth stories like this follow and subscribe to AM TV because think AI 
थिंक ए आई एम